Great opportunity to spend a few moments with our resident theater critic, Diane Fisher Simmons. Good to see you. Hi, Bob. Thank you. We got stuff going on here on the island and, and available to us uh, visually. Uh, you've seen a movie and a play recently. Yes. yes. Tell us about it. Yes. So we've got a both preview and previews going Great. on today. So it continues to be the summer of sequels okay. with all the big ones, you know, yeah. from Maverick to Jurassic World and Thor, Love and Thunder, okay. I was able to catch. And I, I have I have to say, I'm usually I'm usually a Marvel fan. I, I like those movies, and especially Thor. I think in the original, he did a really great job. You know, he's definitely a handsome fella, looks like the superhero, but he also has some good acting chops. And in the original, I mean, he went toe to toe with Anthony Hopkins, mm -hmm. and you got to be on your game yeah. to do that. So um, I really appreciated this one. Or, or that one, but this one, it actually, um, I think it was a little bit lacking this time. Right. They did a lot of the one-liner jokes, the tongue-in-cheek that they used to just sprinkle in there, but mm -hmm. this time they did a lot of it. And um, it just, it didn't kind of have the heart and the clarity, the story I didn't think had the clarity that the first one did. Natalie Portman returns, and I was hoping for a, a little bit more on that with the romance going on between them, mm -hmm. and and that was that was kind of a, definitely a side note. But um, but it was good. It was it was up there. If you're you know ready for n that next entry in the Marvel franchise, it's it's your great big summer splashy hit. So okay. so I think it's. I don't know that it's going to do quite as well as as I no. said the original or Ragnarok even. Um, um, Taika, Taiki Waititi is the director, well and done. he's known for Escapism Fair, and he's done that again. But I, I think the reviews he got in Ragnarok are going to be hard. He's going to be hard pressed to meet that with this one. All right, here on the island, there is nothing better than live theater yes. anywhere. We've yes. got Rock of Ages yes. playing on the island. Uh, your thoughts? Rock of Ages has come out, and I did get a chance to see it. I actually saw a final dress, okay. so they've probably done more with it since. And it's plenty of the big 80s tunes, a big <laughs> spoof again. Sure. So almost like Thor, it's really? a big 80s, 80s rock music is throughout. And that's a lot of fun. And the band is very talented. They did a great job. They have a strong female lead. Um, but here again, I think... Um, they note a uh, parental discretion. So you want to make sure that you don't take your kiddos to this one. It's, okay. it's a lot of adult humor and um, some off color content. So just be aware of that. Okay. Um, but like I said, if you're, if you, if you were the headbanger 80s yeah, rock yeah. kid, then you're gonna you're gonna like these songs you're gonna hear again, and it kind of throws you back to all of that again. So yeah. that's 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 fun. And that's playing at the Art Center through the end of the month. Through August 14th. August 14th, middle of next month. Okay, yes. great stuff. Yes. All right, and uh, you've got a couple of previews. What's coming up? Yeah, so I don't know if you've heard of. Um, I've only recently become more familiar with the Southeastern Summer Theater Institute. Sure. Yeah, so a lot of the kids come from all over. Um, mm -hmm. They they say that they have been um, trying to shape lives on stage and off for 15 years. But They've done a great job, too. Yeah. My, my daughter was, participated in it oh. a number of years ago. Okay. Did you happen to see Music Man? I have not seen Music okay. Man, though. Is it, we, uh, it's a great show. It's a great show. It's a big show. It's, it's a, a big, big show. show. Yeah. These kids ought to be, the energy should be huge. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, although that one, that one they already did this summer. The next uh, yeah. one coming yeah. out is okay. Ragtime. Okay. So that will be, let me get those dates exactly for you. The Ragtime will preview two weekends, the weekend of August, or July 29th and August 5th. Okay. If you want to take that in. And then you can go to their um, website, Summer Theater Institute dot com for um, next year entries to be able to um, take part in it if you if you have a youth that's involved or wants to be involved in theater. It's a terrific series. It's a terrific summer program for for the kids. Good. We actually hosted a kid one year too as oh, well, yeah? uh, who stayed with us for the whole summer from Chicago, who was a part of it all. And it's good stuff. Nice, yeah. nice, great, great stuff. All yeah. right, it's a good thing going on. And then yes. I, I think finally the one of the funnest things about the summer movies that we have yeah. going on still. I've mentioned it in the past, but, but the free movies in Shelter Cove Park. Okay. They just, it's so beautiful out there. Mm -hmm. And if you just grab your lawn chair, bring a, bring a snack and hang out with the family, a blanket, whatever, you can see that sunset going down over there on the marsh while you're taking in a movie this coming week. In fact, this Thursday is The Secret Life of Pets. Okay. And then next week, the 21st is Back to the Future. <laughs> so we've got good classics out there going on too. Doesn't get any better than that, Diane. <laughs> Thanks so much. We Thank appreciate you, it. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate you having me. All right. Me. Diane Fisher Simmons, our theater and film correspondent. When we come back with all the volatility in the economy, what's that doing to your retirement plans? Mm -hmm. We've got an expert here to talk about it next.